past. A couple of losses in recent memory. NIP, VP, Astralis, they are the ones that litter the red column for the CIS squad. But as we get underway... Let's do this. Final map of the series, Mad Lions, Na'Vi, and the odds leaning heavily to the black and yellow. See what this five man stack interconnector leads to. Look at the pixel hold from Perfecto. He's got the information silently. And now he's holding for the push. Flamey's trying to fake him out so he was looking the wrong way. And well, it's led to Hooksy's demise. I hope he doesn't have a similar performance. That's the kid as well. They kind of need to scavenge that. Don't go up the ladder. Don't do it. It's a trap. All right. Well, they got the utility. Refresh. Trying to. Duke it out with the uh, simple P250. Oh, he's so trapped. He does manage to stand his ground and the frags come in. Simple's lost his life, which puts Electronic into a bit of a sticky situation. He'll take the upgrade and disappear. They do have the bomb and a ton of util. Oh, the timing. Shush, here's all of this. He's pieced it together. He surely know that it will be the B finish. Electronic's lining up a heaven smoke. They need to be quick. Yeah, they're going to have to open the door as well, I believe. They're already out. Oh, that's the bomb! And Acor takes him down. What a shot! Rush didn't expect it, and neither did I. He's actually hit it, and now the bomb retrieval gets really awkward for Perfecto. He'll be finished off, and so will the round. Mad Lions taking the first. <laughs> Another opening death for Hooksy. I, oh, yeah, I really, I, I significantly hope, especially because you're here like, I don't want to be in a silly, and I'm not going to yeah. be a hundred. I'm going to frag. He definitely had a, a, a real nasty one on train, but he had a sort of smile on his face. He knows it's not the series. That was the shot that... I wasn't expecting to be hit, but it was the one that won them the round. Yeah, they had a very good performance on Nuke. If you are just joining us, their T-sided game plan on their opening map, their map choice of Nuke was great. You know, they looked poised. They were punishing rotations. They were showing lots of variations. And Hooksy, the man who had a bit of a rough time there on train, he was actually a force to be reckoned with. Now, this one should be a quick one. These are some of our favorite rounds. It's just going to be the pistol spread. There will be a purchase for Navi. Through the next round, Boomage, if you get a knife kill, that's going to go a long way. And that is huge. That is actually phenomenal work from Boomage to pick that one up. This round loss bonus coming on through will allow Boomage to have 5.5k. That means if they want to get an AWP for simple, he can drop one. Is that 5.9? Yeah. 5.9. Sorry, I have a, a little logo on my screen obscuring. So he has gone for it. Boomage's Interesting. Name. So simple will be uh, swapping and changing with his in game leader and be given the gift of the zoom banger up against famas and mp9 as well it starts to favor narv quite heavily choosing not to invest and upgrade it is going to be the bonus round of sorts let's see if mad lions can make it count quick stop molly it lands and that's important simple taking his orb into the lower side oh my god rose pushed right up look at that roy excuse me has pushed right up and i don't think electronics anticipating this no one would be anticipating this simple well, now, now will yep and that's going to be resolved so problem Pretty much averted. They've dealt with a bit of a spot of aggression to start off this round. And it's a 2-2 split of the remaining CTs. Na'Vi hit pause, as they're known to. Oh, info. And Refresh lives to tell the tale. Bit of a warning shot across the bow, down to 79. This becomes very difficult right now for Mad Lions. A gamble stack over towards the A site. Looks like it is on or in the cards as both B players trundle back up the stairs to... Oh, the smoke, it's enough to bait them back over towards the B site. Not quite sure where they want to stand and fight right now, the Mad Lions. And Na'Vi, they haven't given too many indications on where they're finishing either. But Acor's able to level up with a four on four, getting a frag onto Perfecto. And that's a big one. If he can slip away, My, which is looking possible. Yeah, Electronic was thinking about long, but not to be. They only have two smokes, Na'Vi. So it will probably just be a heaven smoke and maybe one towards Graffiti. Maybe one on the site to facilitate the plant, but... 30 seconds left. Starting to come into a couple of problems for Na'Vi. Do you like to run down the clock? Here comes Boomich into the site with a plan. And three CTs to find. Hooksy catching 99 points of damage. He lives with just a sliver. High flash. Bombs being planted to contest. Would be refreshed. That's Boomich's responsibility. But actually, Hooksy just wildly sprays. Brings Boomich down to a slither of health as well. Any further from refresh, he walks into the AWP. Speaking of AWP, yeah, it's found the frag. It's found its mark. And now the CT is likely going to try and do damage as they can. He's actually chipped away at Simple even more, trying to retreat. Wow, they're actually just being allowed to walk away from this one. So Mad Lions, sure, the weaponry not fantastic. It's it was a bonus. A famous, yeah, and an MP9. But note the armor. They won't have to reinvest in those diffuse kits of $400 a piece. Acor will survive with his AWP. 
Flamey is guarding an uh -oh. AK. Oh, hold up. Acor. Well, okay, he's gone towards long. I thought maybe he would grace Flamey with his presence, but... That'll be the round. First on the board for Na'Vi, and there's not enough time for Flamey to get around this corner and find this frag. So good stuff, dealing with the aggression of Roy. Fun fact for you, that for, throughout these first three rounds of play, Flamey has not got a single point of damage dealt. Oh, okay. The only member in the server yet to do anything. With the uh, weapon in his hands. That was the first of the round. You can see how little refresh showed on that jiggle. That was what Simple was waiting for. Okay, well, two M4s, one for Roy, one for Shush. Hooksy with the MP9 that was saved, and Refresh has been gifted that Famous. Warp still for Acor, and he needs to be the danger man. So boost up in towards the pipe there. Anything, though, the smoke. And that's Flamey smoke. We'll highlight that. That's cool. They've got no info now. And if they go for a quick hit, this is going to hurt. My God, there could be four Na'Vi members on B in the next 20 seconds. Here they come. Flooding in. Shush blind and executed. Flamey into the site. Needs one more, and that's the end of that. Oh, simple. Gonna get overrun. Hooksy has managed to take down the danger man, but Roy, maybe ready for electronic. Will he check it? He will. Doesn't get the crosshair in the right place at the right time, and now it does feel all too familiar. A save required. Double orb save, though. Save, yeah, that's huge. He's actually taken acors and simples. Oh, wait, this could be perfect. The double oh, kill. Oh, no, the boost. Just as they were retreating. Oh my god, that was picture perfect. They lose everything. I, I said we were going to highlight that smoke from Flamey. I wanted to do exactly that with Skybox for the viewers at home. We have the technology, so why not? Flamey's back here, guys. Watch this smoke that's going to come out of his hand on the run. That's going to be pinged off the wall. And what happens is it bounces and lands here to do with the pipe. Now, normally you will see the CTs throwing a Molotov there, so you can't get control for free. That one thrown on the fly. And that gave them control here to get on out quickly into sewer and deal with this boost. So great stuff coming on through from Na'Vi. And there has been a little bit of a meta shift in recent times uh, to do with Overpass. You're seeing teams on the CT side nading open the squeaky door for connector quite a lot. Right. And once they get sewer control or they do boosts and they can harass a lot with spam or jump peeking to get more information, that connector part of the map becomes more and more difficult for teams to deal with. So I think that Na'Vi with that smoke are giving themselves a safer way or at least another option to get sewer control without needing connector. Because normally if you want to take this sewer area, which is just in front of Hooksy right now, late round, if you allow the CTs to have that room, you normally want to pincer it from the door and the pipe position. Seems like their plan here is simple go kill. Just go to see what you can find. Roy has gone for an aggressive push, which Electronic was waiting for. So Simple's going to walk into the site and say, boys, it is dead silent over here. Sector clear. Sector clear, absolutely. The bomb's not going to be there just yet. Boomich is miles away. But Fecto's hearing them start their rotate. Taking those two. Oh, wow. <laughs> Put your knives away. It's time to play. Simple. Gets himself three, maybe even the fourth. Can't quite overcome Hooksy. And that will put an AK into his hands, but keeping hold of it is a different question. They're heading A with the bomb. They are starting to take it now. And he's got two players on B as well. This exit, not going to be easy. Perfecto makes short work of him, and that puts another round on the board for Na'Vi. So we're keeping it level, but that has been three consecutive rounds for the T side of the CIS squad. Okay, so will we see a secondary orb? Because it was clear that they wanted to save one, or save a second, when Perfecto mounted on up and got that double kill just on round number four. And it appears they'll just be rocking Acor as the solo orper on the CT side for round number six. So the buy will be coming on through, but it's not fantastic. There's a few emissions, not Molotovs for everybody. Lacking a couple of flashes and HGs. So now, V, they have a chance to punish him. There's that smoke. And what a run boost. What is that? Yeah, and he's so flashy. He might burn. I can't believe he's still alive. Yeah, he moonwalks into it. That was really uncomfortable. But Hooksy, from the clutches of defeat, has pulled a wall bang and leveled the odds. Blamey up to aggress short. RV always paranoid of the flank. They know that when they do these all-ins, they are oh, oh, vulnerable. Simple tries to wall bang back from the short pipe into the B site. That's ambitious. And Hooksy's actually resmoked monster, so they'll be able to confirm there's nobody home. Once that clears. It's a long road to the A site. Long starting to be crawled upon by electronic the smoke on monster will fade though and seems like navi want to go back to where they uh started hoping that this will have got the cts a little uncomfortable little less with their feet planted shush and refresh though they're all in good positions oh just as they start to move out though 
That seed of doubt, it was planted, and now they profit from it. This is a nice little pop flash if he chooses to deploy it. Doesn't need to, as they are already into the site. Flamey's in that monster pipe, does evade the flash or waits it out nicely. A lot of work here for Refresh. He gets them both. Exactly what the Doctor ordered. The bomb's in the tunnel as well. Heading in through Monster, and it doesn't look fun. Certainly not for Na'Vi. The they have missed the Molly. He's safe on the barrels. Hooksy with a flash. They've got no time. To save. Oh, they have to. And they might even get caught out here on the retreat. Hooksy is on short. He'll be hearing this. Surfs and catches a glimpse. He confirms they are retreating and hiding in that monster tunnel. Do they peek? Do they give him a, a look? No. Would rather recover the weapons and they'll keep all of them. Thank you, Refresh, for delivering a round to Mad Lions. Yeah, that got really sketchy there. After they actually made that kill onto Shush, trying to escape from Monster, you could see Boomich wanted the orb. There was miscommunication. Time was a problem. Flamey swung yeah. right on Simple's shoulder there. It just maybe the communication it was a bit flustered. It didn't look as clean as what we've seen from Na'Vi over the course of Train and the earlier stages here of Overpass. But that's a great round for Mad Lions to win. The problem is they weren't able to salvage an AWP. So Acor just rocking a silence den four. What type of impact can he find? They'll actually bolster the A defense now with four players aggressively towards Long and Party. I like that they're willing to mix it up. Electronic's the target. He seems all too aware as to the potential. An idea, doesn't he? Yeah, he really does. Throws out his util set, hopes the fight comes to him, and now, oh, Acor's gonna have to get a move on. Does take the fight to Electronic, simple in the playground, needs one. He does tag him up, actually, through the slither gap. But the Franks favor Mad Lions. Oh, if they keep pushing, they might be able to isolate Boomich, who is grabbing the bomb almost into the fray of Roy. Unspotted, though. He's dropping his util. You don't really want to push that. They're actually going to Still going. it. They are, and Shush has dealt with one. He's on the retreat. He's desperately trying to run, but they... they oh, they line up, and Perfecto's got another. Just like that, it's all onto Acor. What a turn of events. He's not stopping either. God. Oh, my God, the he timing. Gets away with it. It's Nade. We could find Perfecto. No, chunks him down to 62, though. Not too shabby. And Acor, what can you do? He picks himself up an incendiary and just accepts his fate. This one is Na'Vi's, and it was just stolen from them. It was chaos. The moves from Boomich. Oh, <laughs> dropping everything he had. Molotov. Take dropping the a smoke, smoke, though. I like that. Launching around. They saw the smoke, and it was just to convince them that they weren't didn't have to have their rifles ready. Led to a double kill and led to a round loss. Well, that one was very, very dicey stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Acor gets an upgrade from this. Went into this with a silenced M4, walks away with an AWP. But their loss bonus it hasn't built to a point where you could be too excited about seeing a potent round coming through behind it. See there, just around that 3K mark for Roy. Refresh is up at 4.3, and, well, Shush and Hooksy are in the middle to low end of 2K. And here's that double kill. That's the hero moment right there. Around that, whoa, Na'Vi, another one that they were tested and pushed on. That one was flustered, but Boomich able to land on his feet. And well, now he's got his ult, mate. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm questioning, do they want to force behind it? I don't think they have to. You can see that Acor's money, 3K residual. That means he'll be able to buy an AWP yet again, and then everybody will be able to have a full buy in round number nine. But if he can find any impact, a couple of picks, they can find an AK-47. Oh Make boy. it dicey again for Na'Vi. Oh, hello. Oh, and he even hits it. That was a, not an easy shot to hit by any stretch from Roy. He dinks him with his 5.7 or P250. I didn't check. Acorn needs to retreat, though. He's going to drop his smoke and stick around. That is... He's so cheeky. Ambitious. And uses the door to Scarpa. A different rotate route. To, to oh, flamey. Yeah, flamey. Has managed to get himself into the site. Tags up Acor. Acor's the only man, the danger man, to, capable of doing anything. They are starting to commit towards his site, and he hits a shot just on the crossing Boomich. He could find more. Refresh is there as well. It is only just a P2K, and that AWP and another chance goes awry. Misses it, and it should just be Na'Vi picking up the pieces here. HP. Yeah, there's no way Acor can find too much more. He does take down Electronic, and maybe if they give him another one, he can oh. take it. Low HP, no problem. Acor's made it winnable, and it is converted by Hooksy. Mad Lions have got themselves an absolute special presence on the AWP. Acor brings home a necessary round. Not only is Acor quick with that AWP, his movement is what facilitates a lot of these fights that he's able to go for. We've seen it in multiple occasions across these three maps now. He's been able to dodge and duck around and get himself into positions that probably otherwise wouldn't wow. be possible. He's doing things so quickly and taking risks because he has so much confidence in his movement. 
it's actually great to see. He's the full package as far as a Flary Orpa goes. And Na'Vi, they're the ones now who are hamstrung on the buy. Flamey down to a Deagle. Galil for Perfecto, but Simple still has the orb. Couple of bullets landing into Flamey's angles. He continues his advance regardless. He is the only man leaning towards B. And so his job will be to try and uh, catch a rotate. Sell something. He's only got a flashbang. That's not going to be all too easy. His team are working through underpass, though. So a passive stance from the CTs. Letting Na'Vi waste their util and their time. This is a result of that aggressive setup they had earlier. Na'Vi need to be diligent about this. They need to use their flashes. They need to jiggle right. every corner, bait out for each other. But we can see on the radar, top left, the passive setup that's being employed by Mad Lions. Very defensive towards the site for Acor, overseeing things towards A long from Roy. And this is just a timing. Acor will have to check towards bathrooms. We'll have to check towards that banana position every now and again. And now at this point, they can start using these Molotovs. They can start using these smokes and flashes they have left over to deter Na'Vi from setting up and execute. If Acor takes that first shot, he does. And that enables Roy to catch him unawares. Electronic's still to come. Roy's hunting. And he's actually found it. This is great stuff from the Lions. Acor fully flash pulls the trigger into simple. There's more where that came from. A miss from Perfecto going to cost him here as he goes for the bait, not taking any of it. Acor has done enough. Bomb is on its way. They've only got 14 seconds. There is no option other than preservation of the orb. Refresh the is dream. searching the wrong way right now. I don't know if he's going to find Perfecto here. Yeah. If he did come up underpass, there could have been a wild, but... Oh, this is going to be down to just uh, milliseconds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, the reason that Perfecto surviving there is so important is not the fact that Simple gets the orb. It's that if Perfecto dies... He's only going to have $15, uh, 15, 50, 15 dollars as Counter-Strike amount of money. That'd be wild. $50 coming into this next round. So great stuff here from Mad Lions. Very well handled. Very well handled indeed. It's good to see that they're back to their, uh, their ways of the first map and not so much the second, just for the competitive nature of the map. Simple. Trying to do what Acor did. Making that Eco Orb work. Nade. And yeah, that nade chunks, Flamey. Brutal. 70 damage inflicted. They charge up long. Now, this is going to be the first sound cue heard by Roy. You'll see when he hears it. Let's watch it from his POV now. He's going to lose out on the duel. Getting just one and now oh, simple no. connecting onto Acor. I can feel the pieces starting to fall apart. Refresh is so disconnected on this dank flank. Depending on the pace Na'Vi present, this gets awkward fast. He has an incendiary. What's Hooksy's plan with it? Don't forget, this is an eco around an orb. It's armored P250s. It's an AK now for Flamey. Those two frags have put them in good stead. Now, can they convert? Simple will be the spearhead of the assault. And that was a miss. They couldn't afford. Hooksy finds him and evaporates through the smoke. Close quarters duels against the pistols. No fun. Gets another one. Flamey traded. And now all onto the armored P250. Can he do the impossible? So what Simple could do. Now, much more winnable. He's got an M4. One bank, one long. Oh, he didn't oh. see it, didn't anticipate, but he doesn't go down immediately. An MP9 from Refresh is enough. And now, I imagine, do you save just the one? AK and an AWP, or do you fancy a double? Yeah, that's the question right now, because they've been operating with one AWP, and you can see Shush clear intention right now. He's picked up a secondary. Now, let's see if this changes their defense, because they can opt to take both AWPs over towards the A site, one towards long, one towards the bathroom position. Or they could use one over towards the B side here to give them some control towards Sewer or Monster. There's lots of options on how they want to apply this double orb setup. But that one got dicey. The plant is good. It's going to help facilitate Na'Vi getting a better buy. And remember, all that was brought into that one was the saved AWP. And Perfecto with his armor and a P250. Perfecto will be back down to a Tech-9. They've double mollied over towards Playground. That's going to force some smokes out of Na'Vi within the early stages. Acor making his AWP presence known, and good flash work. Yeah, keeping very him at bay. nice. You can see how quickly he's adjusting between all the options. And that's Roy finding the Hunter Flamey on shore. Acor immediately bounds away. Doesn't want to be the reason they concede the early man advantage, because now it's all on Na'Vi to overcome. Refresh already gone, four on four.
Avoidance is surely... Oh, the flash for the peak. It's perfect. Acor sets up his teammate, and they do once again seize control of the map, their round. Acor out orped by Simple. Underpass taken. Perfecto using his Tech-9 to great success, and suddenly Na'Vi have once again grabbed control. Shush. It's one man looking for one frag, and he's gotten it and got away. That could not have worked out better for him. He drops his incendiary to stop the hunt from Simple and actually manages to soften him up for the one-shot headshot of the M4. Still need to pick up that bomb, Chad. 35. Why is Pooksy still concerned of that flank? There'll be a timer on this. Common pre-fire, common pre-aim. Simple. Yet to announce it. He'll throw out the smoke. Now, Shush readies his aim. Burrows his brow and loses out the duel. Comes down to Hoogsy. An AWP as well. Do you fancy his chances? He'll let the flames fade as he advances. Giving it a crack, I can't believe it. Let's get it. In-game leader, not known to be an AWPer. He's on the hunt for Perfecto. Oh, it's a tight line, isn't it? Very little visible. Just the balaclava and an AWP recovered. Simple zone returns to his palms. Just having a quick little look back on Skybox at that round right there, and we are seeing the nade now deployed over towards Squeaky Door. That's how Flamey went down in the back when he was trying to take that territory towards Sua. So we want to see the remaining rounds that we have in this half, how that plays on out. And that's a nice round. You saw the wide swing from Simple there. I think Shush was expecting a bit more of a jiggle. And Simple just straight past his crosshead, no time to adjust and punishes. Is this play from Perfecto in towards Connector? And the swing from Simple onto Shush. Now, look at this. The timing. Perfecto just moved out to cover on off towards CT spawn. So, all in all, a good round. And the scoreline now sitting at 6-5 to five in favor of Mad Lions here. Map number three. Winner of this will advance in the upper bracket of Group A. I am Beijing. We've been covering Group A all this weekend. Following this one, we have Complexity taking on none other than Fnatic. The Swedes have been in Struggle Street in recent times. The winner of this will play the winner of that complexity fanatic Sticks game. Sticks around. Acor, that's brave. Flashed off and still standing his ground. He wants to catch this cross of electronic and he's oh. missed his shot. Missed his chance, but gets away cleanly. Got a good understanding of the flight pass and that's the punish. Roy's gone and taken playground for his own. And Simple catching the flash as well. He knows what's up. He even sees the barrel. They know what Na'Vi are up to. Homework done. An early frag found. Roy's been very good. You know, he's been a bit of a nuisance, been set up a couple times by his teammates, but finding impact, and now Boomich, I'm not sure if he expects Shush. Don't, don't, oh, it's good. This crossfire on Monster has established even more control. Now Flamey trying to level the odds, that's a good nade. Brings Refresh and Shush down to an awkward amount of health, and all on the flank, Roy does bait the shot, simple. Oof, needs to get away. Molly forcing him out of short. They both left Monster, so there is an avenue if they opt to push through, but now they've changed their task, and the timing is perfect for Refresh. Wow, this round is looking good for Mad Lions. Another bomb's been lost as well. Once you have Simple go down in a 4v3 disadvantage situation to make it a 4 on 2, you're going to think you have some real dramas. As Flamey now gets the AWP, but this one feels very unlikely. It certainly does. Molly will force Shush's hand, and he takes the fight to perfection and to perfecto. 10 seconds, it does mean that Flamey will just be looking to maintain the AWP and I don't see too many players in a position to challenge. So we will just accept that seven for Mad Lions defense. Now we've, we were having the conversation chat about Nuke and its uh, leniency towards that, that T side. Yeah. Overpass is, uh, is one that I, I still haven't been able to knuckle down. Obviously it's the CT side, with the freedoms they get on this map, you can take so many aggressive routes, get all that info. The T side can be one that requires so many, like a puppet master pulling all those strings. I still can't help but favor the CT side. Yeah, it's still a CT side of map in my mind. I know that we've seen some games where teams are able to just barrel Gosh. their way into the B side, you know, time and time again, and, and really just punish the defense. But I think that this map, just in the premise of the fact that you spawn in a bomb site, yeah. it's always going to probably be working in your favor. Teams are getting much better at the way they're able to use their utility on the T side and get map control. But you can see like Roy, for example, how much of a nuisance he's been with late timings around long and party, pushing for aggression. If you can find good timings. Uh, 
Oh, he's lining up a wall bank. Yeah. Okay. I'd love. I'd like to simple. I saw that one on Reddit. Oh, yeah? Where's yeah. that go? To barrel or I something? Think it, yeah, it, keeps, it gets the um, boosted player. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> barrel? Oh, the yeah. Shot. yeah, it is barrel. It is barrel. Good guess. Okay. Well, uh, what interesting a... attempt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like to see it. I like to see Simple constantly trying things. And, and look, he has the only big boy gun in this round. So if he picked up a kill like that, we lost our mind before. No, I would not do it again. I will be masculine and loud i'd have to walk away and let rush take the rest of the game yeah so 13th round it is an important one and you're absolutely bang on and the it will rests on simple trying every trick in the book even elaborate wall bangs but nothing found just yet who's the one jumping for info and there is certainly a universe where he gets punished for the jump he just tries again aggressive from roy just when he needed to you've been talking about it all half long He's just been a safe pair of hands, you know, being able to get the kills when they need it. Nothing flashy, but he needs something flashy right now, Navi. They're just going to be mincemeat. Yeah, Flame is just dancing with them, but Roy's managed to get himself the quad kill against the pistols. It is only that orb that previously was saved, and Simple's going to be doing the same kind of thing again. Doesn't need to move from this angle. Well, Alex, you know we love doing some pro tips here. Yeah. You know, we love, we have Rushley, is the king of the pro tips. Well, I want to see a slew of highlights of that wall bank to barrel on Reddit tonight, tomorrow. We still got the weekend for Counter-Strike. So here you go. So. At the current spawn with the graffiti lining up pixel perfect. Look at this. He's trying to... Uh, that thing. That thing right there. Okay, now don't touch your mouse anymore. Only using your keyboard at this point. Run, 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 run. Hopefully you have a jump key and then in. in the pipe. Double zoom click. All right. Bang. Now, if you guys can try that for me every single round that you play of Overpass tonight. Stop, you're ruining you the matchmaking it. servers. Oh. Oh, I'm definitely not ruining the matchmaking servers. I'm trying to make it uh, a more rich experience for uh -huh. everybody. So, a little flash for the uh, containment, and it does seem like Navi a little worse for wear. Certainly electronic. Oh, my God. They want to contest long, and he's fully flashed. This is going to get sketchy. Fully this could spotted. be a problem, and actually works out wonderfully for the Danes. A triple kill on the Navi aggress. Shuts it all down, and the bomb's there, too. Just like that, the round just feels like a practically a flop. Yeah, Navi with five. I think that's probably enough for them here within the first half. But uh, of course, they would love as many as possible. That goes without saying. Flamey and Perfecto in a two on five. The low HP of Acor and Roy, it makes it a kind of doable round, but they would need to hit some shots and hit them quickly. Because he's got no flash. He just checked for himself. So he wants to jump for the info instead. Oh, they're getting flanked. Look at how much of a nuisance Roy is. He's already pushed up party. He's coming. Ooh, hello. And Roy looking to get the perfect timing on this flank. He's been great at this. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, it's enough of a distraction to make it a 1v1 for Acor. Roy deciding he wants an AWP for this one, but Acor's the, the master of the big green. Well, I said he's been great. He's been great at the positioning and the timing. Yes. Maybe not the aim in the back. To we know fair. how difficult that can be. Yeah, exactly. Multiple targets in the back at range. No thank you. This was how Roy started it, though. A great double. And yeah, I mean, you know, we spoke to Hooksy and we, we, he talked about the fact that he doesn't want it to be a star orper and a, and a single player. He wants it to be a whole team effort. Well, you've got two players definitely head and shoulders above the rest, but it is a full unit. All of them. Hooksy, Refresh, Shush, and Roy has been taking his turn in the limelight in our third map of our series here. Hello? There. You want to boost? boost? Thing? Yeah. This might be too little too late. They already have sewer control. Have to be careful. The scope's been heard, and yeah, thinking better of that is Acor. Okay, so this is actually going to be all on Flamey's push, and he's already been shut down. That was the only Galil, the rifle, but it doesn't stop Simple's Deagle, nor the Tech 9 of Boomage. Quickly silenced by Refresh. The trades starting to favor. But another for Electronic, two on two. The weapons, everything favors the CTs. Electronic trying to sneak away. Hooksy's having none of it. And it puts it all onto Simple's Deagle. He's won crazy things in this series already. And this one, more than doable, but only a $700 sidearm for Simple. The re-aggress from Roy is everything here. He's not expecting it. He is going to have a look, but it's 10 to 5. Na'Vi going to have to work with just the 5 as Mad Lions switch over to the attack at 10.
Ten rounds to five, Mad Lions head over to the attack. It's the third map, first game of our second day for IEM Beijing. You see the T-Spawn on their monitors, Acor on your screens. Very impressive stuff from him so far. Refresh as well, looks like he's been not skipping curls. Getting those arm days in, it's, easy, it's the easiest one to uh, not skip. Vanity days, I think we call those. Well, that's the only, those are the only ones I do. Yeah. We don't go in there for the serious business. Yeah, I don't care about how well. healthy I am. I just want to look good. Yeah, look jacked, get the shirt off, and get things underway because scoreline and the odds from GG Top Bet currently favoring Mad Lion. Simple with that patented CZ dropped across on the pistol round. We'll be rocking that with armor. Boomich, he's gifted him that one and picked himself up an HE. So there's no kid in play as Mad Lions quickly scamper over towards long, taking control, pushing on up, and while well, they're not pulling any punches, no shift keys here today. And meanwhile, Refresh is just dealing with any B aggression. This is forcing a rotation from Na'Vi as they chop and change around oh, the map. Go down lower. Oh my god, the this is my pistol strat. It's a classic matchmaking. Yeah, long, through toilets, down connector, and it has pulled three players over to A. I rarely see this call. Exciting, here they come. Perfecto makes the call, the rotate's on. Are they fallen back again? Oh my god, not the, the double wombo combo. It's Simple, he's close though, he'll have the call. They are so uncertain. Now Acor's going, go back, go back. You know you want to. Oh, Electronic finding the first and the second as well, weathering the flashbang of Hoopsie. Boomich oh my making God. a meal of this. Electronic's the one to take the snack though. Three frags, no issues for Electronic. Give him a fourth, yeah, he will. He'll steal that one away and that's an RV's pistol every day of the week. So I was trying to d explain to somebody why Na'Vi are so good in recent times and I, I was having the discussion and Simple and Electronic as two individuals are good for three, right? That's the way I want you to kind of look at them on this CT side especially. They can take a lot more risks and liberties because they know how good 
they are, right? In the sense that you'll see Electronic go a little bit more aggressive than he knows he should do because Simple's there in case he only gets one, Simple will get the next one, right? So the fact is, with Nav's there in case he only gets one, Simple will get the next one, right? So the fact is, with Na'Vi, those two players will almost always, when greeted mm. with the option, get you three kills between the two of them. Another smoke in the hands of Electronic, and it looks like a nice little jump throw. Was that monster from... Oh, it's deep backyard. Back. Okay. okay, cool. So they go aggressive on that. And there's all of them there. A whole pack. It's a party. Perfecto needs to get the spray right. And he's only got one. It's Boomich's spray that massacres them as he swings down with the sewing machine oh. and a good deagle from Hoaxie. He's only going to name the one. Taking it in turns for quad kills, it seems. First electronic. And now Boomich into the start of the CT half. Okay, well, that was... Almost a massive mess for Na'Vi there. The fact that Boomich mops it up and even gets four kills with that, he has now stimulated the economy of Na'Vi enough to give Simple the AWP. So charitable work here today. And the M4 has been given to Electronic. And the other three, well, they'll all take MP9s. Oh, never mind. Electronic, he'll uh, be nice to Boomich. The in-game lead has called for the M4 back. And it will just be a couple of upgraded pistols, some flashes. Nothing to really write home about. And it looks like they're going for the same play as what they were in the previous here at Mad Lions, this time without the armor, without the upgrade, but looks like a similar result. <laughs> oh, come on, boys. Yeah, jumping backwards makes it look cool up. Look at the money now. 5.1 for Perfecto, flaming with 4.4. They had to reinvest. Those individuals were just mincemeated in the last round. So uh, Na'Vi doing a good job with the SMGs, making sure that they're able to pick up the lion's share of the frags with those, and that's going to... See a potential bonus round on the board for round number 19. Scoreline currently 10 to 8 in favor of Mad Lions here. That was 10 in the first half to the 5 of Na'Vi's T side. And with these three SMGs, they can definitely lock down the B side of the map. Up close and personal towards Monster like we've just seen will be just as potent against the rifles. They can take sewer control if they'd like. And well-timed and well-placed nade. Both Hooksy and Refresh copping a chunk of damage. And then they're safe harassment. Haven. Yeah, look at this. Refresh. Dying. Refresh. Oh, boy. And now they want to push him because they've got an MP9 and they no, just know he's hiding there with all his util about to be thrown on the floor. There we go. He's trying to get rid of as much as he can. Oh, he's flaming. Pushed on. And he's run away. Wait, no foul. He actually gets away with it. Refresh lives to fight another day. Maybe he's going to be like, what? He's, he's absolutely <laughs> ninja'd his way out of that oh, one. Oh, you hate to see it. That's crazy. I thought he was dead to rights. 3 HP after all of that. I think, he had, I think he had like five or eight. He actually got chipped a little bit further down. Oh, okay. Well, let's break this one down then. 19 rounds of play, and this is our 19th. Uxi and the gang starting to deny mid control. They have enough for a standard A execute here. Three smokes could litter the front of the site. Molotovs as well but they still have to deal with electronic and simple. So A tends to not be the port of call for most teams against Na'Vi, especially if you can't force out a rotation. And maybe they think they've done exactly that. Perfecto's here as well. They've gambled correctly. All the right pieces in all the right places. Simple, then electronic. Both good for one. Tip of the head found, but it does cost... Oh no, a double for Perfecto. Puts it all onto Acor and he's gone too. Nice hold to both of them finding the necessary double. It was perfecto and simple this time around. Even kill distribution as well. Only, what, six separating top from bottom on the Na'Vi side of things. Quite a larger gap displayed on the left-hand side of your screen. And it's perfecto as well. It's not often we see him as the top fragger, but if he can find more and more impact within this Na'Vi roster, and I sing this song every time I talk about Na'Vi, more consistency from the likes of Bla uh, Boomage and Flamey, then uh, we're starting to look at what could potentially be one of the best teams in the world. Pistol upgrade again. Nobody home. As Mad Lions will accelerate their pace over towards the bathroom's position. Working with smoke and three flashes. So wherever Hooksy plies this, the pistols need to get close and they need to get in the face of Simple before he picks them apart. Yeah, he's just so comfortable. So many different ways to beat the same things. He's got wall bangs, he's got it all. Pre-aiming the next peak. Back up he goes. Hunting. For just a little oh, leg. Oh, it's so good. Bang! And that's a hundred damage inflicted as well as the death. 
And departure of Hooksy. Oh. Now the wall bangs are hitting. Simple. Go on. Go on, <laughs> son. Takes down Acorn. Finally loses his life, but damage in round one. Oh, say that. Shush. Not expecting another. Boomage can't wrap it up because Refresh is hitting Deagle shots to the Danish Deeg. Strikes. He's planting safe. He will get the bomb down. Perfecto from one side. And he needs a weapon. Trying to find an orb, but he's oh. getting shot out from behind. He couldn't piece it together. The priorities were all skew if. And so it will be Na'Vi completely and totally leveling this. It was a 10-5 half, and the first five rounds of this defense from Na'Vi have all gone their way. Well, they're deciding who's going to get the defuse. Just looking at each other. Make sure you do this as a bit of a democracy, boys. And it looks like Flamey. He's mocking them. Anything to be picked up, Perfecto? You've Imagine if he your... DCs right now. Like all the Ghiblis. Internet dies. Stop, I hate it. Blue screen of death. Oh, you imagine the drama? Stuck on the bomb. Do... Uh, we've got the referees calling in here. Yeah, look at that wall bang. Even tagging up Shush. Brutality. Oh, Acorn, no! <sighs> this in the back lines. Yeah, you were right. Like, Refresh didn't know where to look for a while there. He's trying to pick up the orbs. Like, do I turn around? What do we do? But they're having a giggle. And that's one of the things that we've noted with Na'Vi ever since the departure of Zeus. They laugh a lot more. Now, they definitely scowl just as much, but they laugh more. So hopefully it balances itself out there somewhere in the middle. But back into the gun rounds, Acorn has been able to buy himself the AWP. Everything we need in round number 21. Quick pace from Hooksy straight in towards the sewer position. Electronic flash forward sees nothing. And when it's just Roy over towards A, this gives me a clear indication that at least within the early stages, Mad Lions want to be looking for picks towards that B bomb site. Recore does have an opportunity, but it goes awry. That was a crossing flamey. He's now had the warning shot fired in his direction. You want to back away. And that's been enough presence shown to definitely keep the feet planted of those ZTs. You see they're congregated as redeploying utility on that monster tunnel. This is a much more default spread. They want info and they want to dig in to the potential of that fast B. Don't forget, an orb fired a shot up short. Electronic, though, will he get checked by Shush? Often Electronic's frag. And it is again. He's often ready for that one. Time after time. Digs into the underpass position and holds it solo. Now look at the paranoia. Acor has to deal with him. He's walking into an AWP. It should be Acor's. Okay, 4v4. 28. They have to go. This is going to be a heaven smoke. And now, well, their options are so limited, it's going to have to be Monster Tunnel. Hooksy, Acor, Refresh, Roy, Boomich working on a flank. And Simple, ready and waiting alongside Flamey. They need frags and they need them now. Flamey trying to deny. The smoke is good. It could enable a plant, but they still have to kill the CTs. And those are the double kill. Can they get it down? Simple to contest. He needs to take down Hooksy. And he has. They've got no time. Boomich just needs to survive. The spray is wild. And Na'Vi take the round. Oh, dear. That was so close. Boomich had not, like, he had to make a decision so quick. Oh, if he got stuck on the door in yeah. the smoke or limped out a little bit too much, Oof. not quite understanding the situation, that was round for Mad Lions. And definitely take a pause after that. That got way too close for comfort. Na'Vi. V lucky to walk away with the 11th round. They've taken the lead in this one here. And that kill from Acor with Roy onto the site. What to facilitate it, but simple. Oh, the man who always seems to have a plan. Perfect timing just there and has secured them. A very important round. Now the guns will be carried across. Mad Lions will be able to buy once more. You can see the clean sheet from Na'Vi here in the second half. Six on the trot as we head into round 22. Just calming themselves after a chaotic round like that. I can only imagine what the team speak would have sounded like. Yelling at Boomich, get out of there, he can't plant. Can Mad Lions bounce back? Because some of these rounds have been very close, keeping it costly with the Deagles. You can see money hasn't buoyed out of control for Na'Vi just yet. Three players operating with just over 3K, Boomich, Flamey and Simple respectively, and then Perfecto and Electronic. Well, they're a little bit worse for wear. We get back on to wait. Once again, the heavy B lean from Mad Lion. Sewer control taken. Roy babysitting over towards A and squeaky door being naded open. So this is the shift in the meta that we have seen in recent months. It allows them to jump. It allows them to harass a little bit more. Takes away the guise of the rotations. And Flamey on the secondary AWP getting a little bit cheeky as well. Just peppering and hammering over towards the B side of things. Oh, what a nade. Great shot. And Shush makes all the better on the promise. A double kill. Electronic now forced to watch as 22 continues. Roy meets Simple's AWP. 
And that was just the first, having a little look towards the toilet's position. So they are still planning to finish over on towards B, who can see with the bomb on his back for now. Flamey needs one, at least. That should be it. Pulls the trigger onto Acor, and he's not done yet. Refresh is gone, shush nearly. Just a narrow margin now for the Danes. They need to get that bomb in. Shush needs a clean kill, can't find it. Boomish can't transfer though, and so the Danes will take it all the way down to a 1v1. But Hooksy comes out on top and we play on 11-11. And my wish is this goes all the way. Look at the financial woes for Na'Vi now. You can see Electronic and Perfecto, they were the two operating with not a full bag of cash and they won't be operating with a buy going into the next round. Mad Lions this time, the one taking the pause. They're the ones who walked away with the round victory. So this is two curious tactical timeouts back to back. Flamey, I said he needed one. Well, he did more than that. He actually looked like he could have been good Give for me a that third. third. Yeah, I know. It was just a little disappointing to not find Shush, but it costs him in the end in his face. Yeah, watching it transpire as you realize that could have been one more. It's never fun. You're like, it's good. So we're not going to say it's bad, but it could have been, been better. better. Yeah, exactly. 11-11. <laughs> well, they're going 11, to 11. They're gonna force up here. So it looks like Electronic has been given an MP9 from Boomich. He might even buy a Famous or an MP9 of his own. But operating at a very, very low capacity will be Na'Vi. And this is oh, not a shove all in. We're not quite there yet. Round 23. But it's getting close. They will have to take a save if they're unable to convert or save anything to write home about after this round. Mad Lions. Got the kit and caboodle and everything they require. Flamey wants some info. Flamey wants a fight. He's not done just yet. God, he really is hoping for an early man advantage. You can't blame him. When you see the buy, you see what Navi are presenting at such a business end of this third map. And I will remind you, by the way, the stakes are pretty damn high for the European group of IEM Beijing. The winner, Victor of the tournament, gets a direct invitation to the Global Challenge, which is an eight-team, $500,000 event. Into the 23rd round of play, though. Na'Vi already locked in for that Global Challenge. A victory for them would put Spirit into contention for it as the second highest rated team from the region. With all of that said, it's time for the doing. Well, the smoke is landing just in time towards Monster. Are they going to disrespect it? Mad Lions think better of it, and they still have 50 seconds left, so probably the right decision. They can now retool and decide what type of execute they want to opt for here. You can see plenty of smokes, flashes, molotovs to work with. They're actually dropping back, so they're not in range of the pistols or the SMGs. But now the time is an issue, 30 yeah, seconds. Second smoke, they're going to have to disrespect that. Flash through, yeah, perfect, but he evades it. Oh, and that's the second. Perfect. Now they've got a way in. 20 seconds. They're going to start to move in now. And Flamey does find a little bit of respite. Uh, just enough to get the bomb loose. Good flash. Counter flash. Boomich has got completely hooksy booked. They're rotating in. Refresh needs multi. Can't control the spray. And it's Roy trying to save the day. Seven seconds. Just not enough. Acorn needs a double kill. Four seconds. It's not enough. Electronic pulls the 12th out of the hat with four seconds to spare. Another round down to a one-on-one -on -one that's just in a fray of frags. Ow. These are tight rounds. These are very tight rounds. Oh, boy. You know, he feels like he has enough time there to make that shot, but Electronic silencing Acor. And, well, the problem for Na'Vi is because they've won all of these rounds in a row on the CT side, their loss bonus that they've been operating with is so low. So... Either way, win or lose the round, you can see that they're by. It's not ideal. MP9s again, two rifles, but the same can be said for Mad Lions. Lils and a Deagle. Not fantastic. It's not dreamy. Miguel can bang. Oh, wow. They're all lining up for the MP9, and they take heavy damage from Perfecto. Boomage as well just adds pain, misery to the Danish ranks. Oh, and caught with a nade in his hands. Acor is left as Roy departs. And now a one versus three. He's going to nutmeg the smoke, but they're staring at him. <laughs> they smoke on top of him, and he walks into the three. So 13 is found by Na'Vi, but it has been coming down to the craziest and tightest of margins. This one, a more convincing finish. Three members of Na'Vi left standing at the end of that one. MP9, pound for pound, value for money, 
has to be the best map in the game. I, I, I don't know if there's any way around it. You've seen how they're able to apply this on the CT side. Against the pistols in the early stages, they were locking down that monster tunnel. And now here against the force by those Galils, they were just destroyed again. And it was mainly the MP9s doing the work and the GG dot bet odds. Well, not looking great for Mad Lions and for good I've reason. I've noticed this gap. This is a very consistent gap in, in both of the teams uh, incendiaries. Like I saw electronics slipping through playground. It does seem like you can really take no damage from a lot of those stop mollies if you hug the left wall. Something to be monitored as time goes on. Now there has been a smoke exchange on B, but it's not much of a conversation starter. They basically just smoked both ends of the pipe. You can see on your minimap there. Yeah, that smoke from uh, the T side of things has been used in recent times as a bit of a lurk smoke, but it seems like such a risk if you know a team plays a heavy monster setup. Right now, that isn't the case for Na'Vi, so they will have to respect it. They even dropped a nade directly on it while Flamey found that kill onto Hooksy, and this should just be a matter of time until Na'Vi post up round number 14. The Scout, the Deagles, sure, they're better than nothing. Wow, that's ex exactly what they needed. Shushati caught simple as well as the refresh victory against Electronics. Suddenly, there's an M4, there's armor, and there could be a bomb plan. That's Acor's responsibility. Perfecto does try and contest, oh. and Acor's taking his head off. Mad Lions trying to take this series and keep it competitive. Just when it looked like it was all Na'Vi's, Boomic wants to take it back, and now down to refresh. He's got the spray, gets the triple, and we see 12 for the Mad Lions. That's huge. I thought this was about to be buttoned up. That should have been buttoned up. The fact that they dropped those frags in that fashion and their multi-kill looked good towards long Let me for see that Shush and Roy, Roy long kills. That's wild that they're still poised and able to hit shots like that. So I wondered how Hooksy missed him. That, he didn't come through short pipe. It was just through the sweep. He missed him completely, look. Like Flamey looked yeah. at him, then looked away, yeah. then looked back. <laughs> okay. Good catch, but this is the double, and that was the necessary one. What Raul played to refresh. Bearing in mind, he started with just the Deagle. Finishes it with the M4 and the triple kill. Both times today that I've said there's no way that they win this round. <laughs> yeah, maybe we Simple just wins to... the one on three, and then they pull that out of their bloody hat. So this is where Navi are in so much strife, Alex. A $1,400 loss bonus. They have to save. Like, if they force right now, this is the business end. At 11 11, I was like, yeah, okay, it's not the end of the world. But now, uh, at this point, they have to take the save and they only get 1900 into the following round. Simple will be able to get himself an AWP. Whoa, effect like is going to be bottom of the barrel. Boomage will probably be back down to another MP9 as well. What? I mean, they say, you know, Counter Strike is determined by those, those crucial rounds. I feel like this game could very well have been over if it wasn't for those sensational individual plays from the Danes. Now, completely equalized. This should be 13. It should, being the operative word. A spot of Boomich jumping for the info. Bomb not spotted, though, and oh, here oh, we come go. come on, not again. Simple's doing simple things, and oh no, Shush has been caught by the push. Just like that. A conservative round, and it's falling apart. Mad Lions. Our heart bleeds for them as they start to lose it. Looking good. Not too good, though. Roy has missed his shot, missed his chance, and now the round starting to dissolve in front of them. A full, practically a full eco. No armor. P250s, a deagle on the high end. After all of this hard work, after the clutch, maybe Hooksy's got a way back in. He does find the first. He's trying to sell as best he can. Teammate waiting in the wings. Electronic on Optimus, simple, trying to nutmeg. Perfecto rotating in as well. Acor has not chosen to p pursue the site just yet. Oh, and that's the element of surprise. Another rifle for Na'Vi. Acor saves now, surely. There's oh, no way he goes for a one on four. The money situation is not great for Mad Lions either. How can he justify going for this? He's in no man's land I mean, right now. They've even got no armor, which means nothing to him. You know, the save yeah. kills as hard as it would be if they did or didn't. He's having a look. Oh, he had a look. They're going to get an all part of that. Oh, boy. Look, Refresh can drop oh, one. Oh, three AKs and an AWP off an eco. Just that's, like that. Fate smiles upon them. That's not the way this needed to go. Now, look, the money's not as bad as it could have been because they won an eco of their own. But, mate, that was Mad Lions way back into this game. That's now 14 on the board for Na'Vi. I even said it. Caster's curse. We've done it like three rounds today. I didn't realize we had so much power. We do, we do. We need to be careful with what we say, Chad. My heart breaks for them losing that eco. Like, how do you not get salty? How do you keep your your calls and your focus when a round that was so guaranteed to be yours? There was the red carpet. They had the little fancy velvet rope. There was a, a man in a full suit letting you in the door and you just tripped over your own shoelaces. Look how much space Navi are giving them at this point. They definitely are respecting 
the Mad Lions players at this point. They're not forward, they're not looking for frags, they're just turtled up in towards their sights. And with those rifles that have been saved across, look at this buy. It is so scary. Everybody has head armor. Diffuse kits are plenty. Utility's good. They're even holding onto their smokes. So a lurk long been, smoke. Yeah. I wonder what that does to Na'Vi's defense. They could boost over if they want to get a little bit cheeky about it. Oh, they're going to flash electronic through. Hey, really? Look at this. Look, they're buying this. They've dropped both of their smokes on the A site, and Boomich has even rotated away. One lurk smoke. And they might be hitting B quite quickly here. The pacing of this might catch Na'Vi off guard. They're still operating under the potential for a flash out of that long smoke. Their smoke actually extending it to a full 30 seconds of uncertainty. And here comes the pop. It's just perfecto. Flamey's arriving as well. I like the look of this. Mad Lions need this if they want to stay competitive, or Na'Vi will have series point. In they go. Flashes off Flamey off the line. Flamey's oh, just gonna get his molly it. right. They've got so much space, they just need to profit. Trying to fall. Hold the spray, perfecto. How are you still alive? He's using the smoke, he's wrapped around the chaos. Oh, Mad Lions, they've lost him. Out of bullets. 3v3. Acor onto electronic, absolute chaos in the server. The bomb's still not down. A 2v2, Boomich coming in from one side, Simple the other. And he's got eyes on the bomb. Acor finally through the Molotov. But Simple could oh. find the shot, a miss. An uncharacteristic one, enables the plant. Roy's holding the push, swaps to the AK. Simple wants to hunt. He wants blood, and it's Roy that finds it. <laughs> this is a game. Oh, this is absolute chaos. These rounds are just coming down to the tiniest like, details. Like, if I was skyboxing this, uh, maybe we watch Perfecto. Like, he just disappeared. They lost him. You can see three members. He had real potential to do some serious damage. We get it from the Mad Lions POV, though. Wow, okay, rock and roll. Oh boy, that is a rough one to lose. We are really down to... Why has Fla uh, Flamey got a picture of a cheater on his wall? I think you'll find that's a snow leopard, Alex. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, and it's because Flamey strikes like a leopard from the shadows uh -huh. when he's needed. And a round like this is where Flamey's needed. 14 to 13, Na'Vi. They do have a one round lead, but if they opt to buy right here and they lose... Maybe we should call... Oh no, Flamey they're going all in. The leopard. Flamey the Leopard from now on? Because he's got the best spots. I like that. I do like that. I know you get a grin on your face like it's a cheeky little joke, but it's not terrible. We got to start giving them some nicknames. There's some timeouts will be called from either side. None left for Mad Lions now. Na'Vi, they're going to be using their second of the game, two remaining. Electronics going all in. Simple has an AWP. It's currently Glass Cannon. But there's a lot to talk about right now. There is a lot to talk about. These rounds have just been brawls. Just absolute biffs on the site. It hasn't just 15. been getting stopped and locked Timer out. Timer has started again. It means they're going back to war. Round 28, third map, first series of the day. And by the way, Counter-Strike fans, including us here at the desk, do you know what you've got to look forward to after this game? Complexity Fanatic, brought to you by myself and Chad. Very, very excited to see JKS, the Australian, in none other than the Dallas Cowboys organization. It's very exciting. He's playing with a roster that I'm very excited to be talking about, but this game continues in the CTs. They've made it work with less. But it's looking like a little bit of a long presence to start us off, Chadney. Yeah, they've actually shifted Simple over towards B with the AWP, and that's going to put so much pressure on Electronic, who once again is rooted back in the A bomb site, basically where he spawned here, just jump peeking. And you could see earlier that Lurk Smoke that you highlighted towards Long, it was enough to cause a full rotation, a lot of utility, and he has Info. spotted at least two players towards that Long position. Will the rotation come through? So far, nobody's moved. His smoke's going to be dropped, but they don't have to respect this. Hooksy can push through. There's a gap. A is open. Bye! Electronic caught out. They push in. And now Mad Lions. Oh, they could have the site. Are they calling the save already? They should. They have to. It's only 1,900 loss bonus for right. in the next. Just like that, a single frag has won them around. What 14. a call. They didn't throw the lurk smoke. They didn't get the rotate out. And what Electronic saw, he didn't trust. He saw that they were deep, but they just continued to push forward. He didn't want to repick, knew that the AWP could pluck him from the sky. And now what they're holding on to is an MP9, a CZ, a Famous with a full kit of utility, and Simple on the prized AWP. There's not going to be a chase from Mad Lions. They're more than happy just to take the round here. A 1,900 loss bonus coming in to the bank balance of Na'Vi V in the following round. That's not enough to work with for Electronic. At most, he could be dropped across the Famous from Perfecto. Okay. Trouble now. Yeah, it's brewing. 
It is brewing. I mean, Mad Lions, they put on quite the show in order to make this a 4-3 map series. Win. Nuke. The map they took. Na'Vi's response was train. An overpass down to the final few rounds of regulation. They're piecing it together, Chad. The puzzle you've been building in your mind is now presented as reality for the Na'Vi squad. I'm sure Perfecto will just buy back into another Famous here, but they're going to take another timeout, and this is more just to discuss what options they want to go for. They have been giving up a lot of territory over towards that A site in the last handful of rounds. We've seen like see... an Aggie party peak. Well, remember when Electronic was playing down in that connector position and he was finding oh, yeah. a couple of frags? After Shush had that, what felt like a heat-seeking grenade on that barrel kill and then followed up in connector onto Electronic, they started to taper back from that approach. But at this point of the game, this is when you look to Simple. Is he frustrated with how things are going? Is he going to take a risk on his own accord? Are they going to set him up for a frag? Or do they want to take a fight? Like that you've mentioned, there's been quite the pack rolly decisions coming out from Mad Lions. Heavy over towards B, heavy over towards Long. It's going to be a real big test of some of these individuals as well. This is uncharted waters for some of the individuals of the Mad Lions. The level of pressure, the level of scrutiny you're under, and just the level of competition. No, V. Tier 1 opposition. Mad Lions looking for their first victory against a Tier 1 event, uh, opposition as this five. Simple at B again, and no pressure at A from Na'Vi. Just all on electronic. Boom, boom, boom. Triple nades, no one home. They're really set on this B site, but I think Na'Vi are missing a piece of the puzzle. Maybe they're trying to, to read around ahead and see what Mad Lions are going to run on in with. But what they've been losing to is lack of information on some of these rounds. Having not enough pieces where they need them, and they've gambled on the B site. In rotation will be flamey. You can see him over towards that heaven position ready to help out Electronic when he needs it. But there's a massive gap towards A right now, and that's the bathrooms. This is on a timer. We have a minute and five left on the clock. Electronic has to leave long. He has to respect the fact that there could have been a push through. Okay, a call. Very important frag here. If he does get the opportunity, he's been smoked off. He actually tries a pot shot. Go on! Oh, my God. Oh, it was so close. And a wallbang actually hits him. He's tagged Electronic. So close to finding the frag. Roy hoping Electronic gets a bit pushy. I hope he's done his pre-fires. Electronic's opting for an off angle. Doesn't want to be in that pre-fireable corner. And that's still Simple Roy. left B. It's going to be B. You're right. He's rotated in. That presence alone. The AWP shots. Roy's frag. It's pulled a 2-2 two -two split out of the CTs. Boomic and Perfecto. Famas MP9. Fortunately, the star will arrive. But here comes the push. An MP9, it's not ideal and does get traded. Acor, T-side orping, but that's a big frag from Perfecto. Simple caught out by Acor. They've got the 15th now. 10 seconds. They just have to plant. It can't be contested. Roy can stop the hunt, and that's 15. Mad Lions have series point. They've got every dream, every weapon they can dream of. They've got every nade. And look at the state of affairs for Na'Vi. Timeout, zero out of four. The last 30-second breather of how to make the best out of a bad situation. 3,700 on the high end, Chad. This has to be a Na'Vi special. This has to be a multi-kill from one of their stars on this low buy. They need to get some... Go on, Peacemaker looked so heartbroken about two rounds ago. Now he's fired up. He's fired up, the adrenaline surging through his veins, and now just one round separates Mad Lions from a colossal scalp to be taking here in IEM Beijing. Well, Simple's been able to get himself the M4 with Kevlar. MP9s again, it's been a hero for Na'Vi throughout. UMPs. Oh no, what do you do with the electronic? Do you, do you, like part of me, when you see SMGs, expects aggression, but... Yeah, and they haven't been doing that, no. right? They've just kind of been sitting back towards that B site, waiting for Mad Lions to run in through that monster tunnel, which, look, it's worked for them in several rounds, but I think a risk at this point of the game needs to be taken, and Na'Vi finally pushing forward up towards A, towards connector, electronic and simple. They need to find an opening pick because right now they have no idea where Mad Lions is. Every single round, Mad Lions have been able to corral themselves across the map as a pack. They've almost been rocking in the three or four man wolf packs time yeah. and time again and then pounce as a unit. They don't get flustered. They're not running around like headless chooks. And now utility back towards the A site. So throwing that bathrooms. From all the way back at T-Spawn, they really are selling this. 
Well, they need to be diligent about the way they clear. And notice how Na'Vi are forward in this round. Well, they have information. We see the smoke, we see the flashes, but we haven't seen any contact. That information is great, but once again, Mad Lions haven't shown any indication of where they want to finish. The bomb in the middle of the pack hasn't been spotted. They can't cheat a rotation. They can't even find a frag right now, Na'Vi. No one's close enough. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of information being conveyed here by Roy. Takes up the long, they've been flashing, trying to make it look like there's many more there, and they are starting to actually join them. They throw util set B. It's been very much a little bit of everything. Column A, column B. I'm getting nervous about the time, Chad. You know, when it's such a crucial round, sometimes decision-making takes a little longer. Simple just rotated back towards the site, so he's not close to help either of his A defenders. Need this cleanly. Oh, and boom, it just got it. Starting to hear the tingles of overtime. Shush has gone down as well. Finally a trade. Okay, Refresh needed that. Hooksy's luck is gone, and they have to plant with 18 seconds left. This is chaos. Already charging into a stacked site, up against three. Simple waiting in the wings on the site. It was supposed to be Mad Lions. It was supposed to be clean and easy. He needs a plan. He hasn't got the time. They haven't got the resources. We're off to overtime. My goodness, of course. MR3 is on the way after a very short break. You and I, we've been friends for a long time now. Always have a good time whenever we go out But you've been calling me up all the time And sending me signs and giving me them eyes And you've been saying that you found the one Texting me junk and you wanna talk But you can't say why I can't get there and you know I try You know I don't wanna waste your time City lights and looking in your eyes But I can't say why doesn't feel right to call you mine You know I don't want to waste your time I can't get there and you know I try But I can't say why Feeling lost like I just wanted time back time I'm choked up, tell me how do I say this right You've been calling me up all the time and sending me signs and giving me them eyes. And you've been saying that you found the one, texting me drunk and you wanna talk, but you can't say why. I can't get there and you know I try. You know I don't wanna waste your time. City lights, I'm looking in your eyes, but I can't say why. It doesn't feel right to call you mine. You know I don't wanna waste your time. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a very intense end to the first series of the day here for IEM Beijing. It's, it sits at 15 
15. We are heading over to overtime. MR3, myself, Machine, and Mr. Sponge. And we've got ourselves a big one ahead of us. Now, it sounded like there was a sound issue. I don't know whether this round is live. It does look like they're actually live and moving on the server. Maybe not. Yep. No, it looks like there is an issue with simple sound. So we aren't going to be getting into this one just yet. We can call our jets. But Chad, a, a recap of, of not necessarily the series, but let's keep it in within overpass. Yeah. At this point, when you just take a look at how we've gotten here, there have been some nail-biting rounds, especially in this second half. A lot of brawling over towards the B site there, and their rounds ending in, I guess, 1v1 fashion. But that's with the clock getting very close. It's been scrappy. Neither team really able to operate with full buys for a massive patch. But that completely changes as we go into overtime here. We're about to get this one underway. It will be 16K start money, so there'll be no dramas in terms of what purchases we'll be seeing. And when the game gets to this point navi as an experienced unit they're the ones who we favor they're the ones who we look towards to close the pressure for mad lions coming into this they hadn't played a team of navi's caliber since the addition of hooksy and refresh but they've done a fantastic job here today of pushing an absolutely star starter roster of navi all the way the full distance overpass has seen every round of play and regulation and now we're about to get overtime underway now some of the keys for Mad Lions in these rounds have been free map control. You saw Na'Vi there to get us to overtime, actually closed out by being postured more forward, being a little bit more aggressive and taking some fights. Two ten five halves mirrored upon each other. Uh, you can see how those five were found. Mad Lions so close to the mark. 29th round was where they found their 15th, just taken to overtime against that uh, sketchy Na'Vi buy. But still, there's been so many mental, mentally taxing rounds throughout this series. It's, uh, it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. We have the double AWP out immediately from Na'Vi, and that's what the overtime 16K facilitates. We only saw Flamey pick up the AWP in one round within that second half of regulation, and Electronic even onto an AUG, so you can just see how they look without the MP9s. Eco, I think he may have been spotted crossing. Simple's posted up, though. Oh, hello, Boomage. This is very aggressive, and it's cost him his life. An early first blood drawn by the Mad Lions, and Flamey reveals the second orb. Shush caught, door blown off, and you can see that vulnerability. Oh, he's in a real bit of a hurt locker here. Threat from the front. Hooksy very loud, a bit sketched out. Wasn't expecting an aggressive push from Electronic. Haven't seen too much of that from Na'Vi. But now, oh, the timing's great. Simple anticipating this one to be clear. Electronic does go down, but Simple has managed to go completely unannounced, and so he does still have this one locked down. The bomb to be retrieved on party. Acor, given the responsibility, it's gone. He's down. Roy with it all to do. Doesn't matter about the flash, apparently. <laughs> Simple was ready and raring to go for that one. Nice try. But now V take the first. Well, you can see the difference off the first gun round here in overtime, just how more forward Navi were. Boomich even searching down and towards connector. Simple willing to re-aggress this secondary orc from Flamey. And they're actually looking for bites now, Navi. The problem was they were so far back on these bomb sites in some of the later rounds of regulation that Mad Lions had the liberty to take map control however they pleased. They could pause out. They didn't need to worry about flanks. And a part of that was Navi not having guns. Well, now there's no more dramas. Now there's no more problems. And this gear shift that we're seeing. Let's see if it continues. This time it will just be simple over towards A. It's going to be a four-man B lean. Boomich taking control again. This is just a different look from what we saw in regulation. Nothing like this is what we saw from Na'Vi. No, very different. Simple. Actually, incensed. He goes forward as the utils deployed towards his position. But he, now he could be caught vulnerable. He is. He manages to live to tell the tale. An underhand flash. He wants to fight. He wants to brawl. He wants to biff. He has got a lot of pressure. The incendiary buys him more time. He's getting wall bank down to 16 and will just Make get sure. overwhelmed. He does tag up Shush. You're right. Very low HP and an adjustment from Electronic. Almost robotic. Takes down Roy. Now, crossing back to the site is a core. Oh, wow. Lovely catch despite the flash. Manages to punish Electronic. Trying to scarper. And look at the headshot angle. Boomich finds himself in. Trying to contain them. Acor trying to use his barrel to bait another shot. Confirms that Boomich isn't there. But oh, refresh? no, Refresh is asleep at the wheel. And he's enabled a full retreat of Boomich from underpass. That's really not ideal. Hooksy needs one onto Boomich here, and he has managed to find it. So now we run into a 2v2. A crucial one for Mad Lions to stay competitive. And just scoping over the flame now. Smoked off. He'll drop a bottle, a can. 
Nothing to contest just yet. They group up. Flamey and Perfecto are the ones to push now into the site. Acor likely going to take one glance and fall away, but they've already managed to set one up. Perfecto has dropped off. And it's Acor to find the other. Now they have a perfect understanding as to where Perfecto can be coming from. Hooksy confirms there's nothing ramp, which means <gasps> Hooksy's been caught. There's still time. Perfecto can clutch this. Doesn't have too much threat. And he just has to put pressure on him, jumping everything to avoid the orb shot. Has he got the time for the defuse? He's got it. Oh, Acor's going to be kicking himself. Those misses have cost him another round. Mad Lions. This is where Na'Vi have that a distinct advantage. And scavenges away an extra orb and a flashbang for good measure. All right, well, no dramas for Mad Lions going into the last round of the first half here of overtime number one, but Perfecto pulling off a two-on-one in this situation. You can see how flustered he was, and maybe that's the reason why he was able to avoid that first shot of Acor. Diffuse comes through, and a big round to be won, and, ooh, lots of talk there from Electronic. The pressure is definitely mounting. They came in today as the heavy favorites against the new, fresh-looking Mad Lions, and they have been tested every step of the way. Simple again, forward. No more liberties being given and granted to Mad Lions. You want to win this one? You're going to claw it with Na'Vi in your face. Look at all these individual plays being pulled on through. And this is Hooksy tucked in very early. There's no way Simple will expect this. Boom. Oh. No problem. Walk into the scope. And the escape measure outlined. He does get away before Acor could even get his eyes on long. In fact, he might even be peeking into simple again. He's not too careful. Yeah. Working on it. Expecting Acor to peek on this side of the tree. He's got him. Dead to right. Simple's playing a different game here. 26 frags. The flash is perfect. Does bait the uh, smoke out of Perfecto. Headlines looking like a shell of their former selves here with the pressure of overtime. Really got to be able to purge the we could have had it mindset fast. Just do it again. Boost is good. I like this. Could find Flamey if they hold it. They have got time to do so. Take your time. See if you get something. See if you get a way in. Silent dismount. Well executed. 24, Chad. I don't know. It doesn't seem likely. Nah. They're up against three. Stacked on the site comfortably. All Flamey has to do is peek and shoot. That's Roy gone. And that's the round. This is a spotless defense here from Na'Vi with a stance that we haven't seen from them. It's 18 to 15. Yeah, it's very clear to see the gear shift, right? Yeah. Na'Vi were unable for so many of those tail end rounds, and that's because of the slew they got off to. And now you can just see how much more forward they are willing to take risks. Boomich in the first two rounds, in the first half year of overtime, he was in connector. He was finding and searching for frags, and that was key. And there's Electronic finishing off Shush on that rotation. So great stuff here with a clean first half of OT from Na'Vi. They now move on to the attack, and I think they can take risks. They can take some chances. Mad Lions are quaking in their boots right now. They need to have three clean himself. Getting pushed. Hey, core. He's still thinking about boost and he just gets over, over complicated with it. Trying to be the hero, understandably so. Now here comes Roy's chance to shine. He's got two, a multi-kill required. He does find the header one, needs Boomich, can't find the trade necessary. So just three of the Danes here on the defense. And refresh. He's well aware and all too familiar with Boomich's tricks. They are bringing the bomb towards them though. And all the oh, timing on this. Okay. They're dead. Yeah, Simple knows exactly what they're up to. Or not, because Shush has found them. Flamey picks up the pieces. We've got a 3v2 established now. And the bomb was on simple. Shush's frag may very well have given Mad Lions another chance just to play, just to give it a good go. But Flamey finds him at the exchange of almost all of his health. Hooksy, the leader we spoke to, orb in hand and a clutch to extend the map. Flames force him into the fight and he does find the first. Electronic, gone. A one versus two now, perhaps a little more manageable. Less than 20 maps or played with the squad. Boomich is going A on his own. Flamey stayed B, but Hooks has already rotated. Is he selling a fake? He is. Boomich is going back. Hooks, he doesn't know where to go. That smoke would sell me. Uh, it's definitely Hooksy completely and totally gamed. 
with eight seconds left, they will plant, and he'll have to do the full retake. Makes it harder. Smoke still up. And the unknown entity of Flamey. They're staring at him. Everything points towards a Na'Vi victory here, stealing it from Jaws. Defeats, he looks for the quick scope, can't find it. Flamey and Na'Vi victorious. Full overtime though, a lot of hard work. We take a break, we'll be breaking it down. Na'Vi with a big W to start their IEM Beijing journey. Back to break it all down. It was right down to the wire until overtime struck, where Mad Lions were struck with fear and struck by the Na'Vi 5. They do take it in the end. Na'Vi, a full three maps though, Chad Burchill. We do see Na'Vi fully tested and overtime in the third. It doesn't get closer than that. Yeah, it was a very good game of Counter-Strike right there. We got everything we wanted on overpass. We had your clinical T-halves on the first two maps of Nuke and then going into Na'Vi's pick of Train. Things were looking great. We had clutches. We had the close scrappy rounds. We had everything we wanted. and. 
then with overtime, well, that's where Na'Vi went. Yeah, we're the experienced roster. We know where the shortcomings were in that second half. And they fixed it up neatly and put a bow on it. So really good stuff good. to Na'Vi. Yeah, really good stuff. And of course, good stuff from the some of the star fraggers. Flamey, one I want to mention. 57 in the series across those three maps. That's a lovely just under 20 frags per map average. Good performance from him today, yeah. It was, yeah. And Flamey's calling into the studio now. So hopefully we'll be able to see that beautiful face in just a moment. I reckon five seconds, Chad. There it oh, is. Oh, it's quicker than that. Hello, handsome. Flamey, can Hello. you hear us? Oh, you yeah, I can hear him, but I can see you. Oh, well, that's Somehow. half. I can see you. Why, but it's okay. It's okay. I can, yeah. I can talk. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Uh, dude, what? I mean, quite a series today. I, I came into this not knowing too much about Mad Lines. I'm sure you guys did your preparation uh, ahead of time. But did you get taken by surprise at all throughout this series? Um, I mean, like, yeah, we know that it could, it could be a, d a close game because they're a great team with some new players in it. And they are looking fresh. And uh, I think that Acre is a really great sniper. For example, like refresh, they're like all great players, so we expected to play like uh, to have a close game. Yeah, but I think they had really good uh, preparation on Nuke. Yeah, they had really great ga game plan on T side. Uh, and my next question, Flamey, is did you make a sound as embarrassing as I did when Simple got a one versus three with a <laughs> P250 upper <laughs> against a full yeah, buy? I, <laughs> I don't know. I was like watching him and I was thinking like, oh. He has only P P250, there is no way to get this round. And after this one, two, and this third kill, I don't know, like,